Hi everyone, this is Hilal Ahmed and you are watching Coding This. Welcome to another tutorial of Jetpack Compose. Guys, in this tutorial, we will talk about image composable and the button composable. So first of all, we will talk about image composable and this is our project from our previous videos and uh, I will just simply uh, change this input text to I uh, composable, something like this or anything you want to name it. Okay, and I will also change this in this preview okay so first of all we will talk about image so to use the image in our jpeg compose okay uh, let me change it here also let me close this okay uh, to use images in our jpeg compose uh, we just need to uh, type image uh, image uh, we we will use the image composable here as you can see here and uh, in the image composable we have three types of images uh, the first one is a uh, painter image vector and bitmap okay so as the name says uh, first of all we will uh, talk about the image vector so what is the image vector except so if you want to use uh, any icons uh, from material or uh, your custom icons so you can uh, use the image vector okay so simply uh, hit enter and as you can see we have two uh, required properties the first one is image vector and the second one is content description okay uh, let me format these uh, for you guys and first of all i will add a content description so i will just simply name it uh, image or anything you uh, want to give it a name okay uh, the image vector accept the image icon so how we can add the icons so simply type icons dot field and as you can see you can use rounded icon outline sharp two tone and field one so i will just simply uh, use the field one and i will just simply add a and as you can see after the field we have a list of icons this is a uh, material icons from uh, jetpack compose okay as you can see here so I will just simply add this uh, account circle icon here and now you will see the icon will appear on our preview okay as you can see this is our icon and now what we can do we can uh, add some uh, color to it so simply type uh, color here color filter so to add a color filter simply type color filter dot tint and inside this we will assign our color so color dot red okay now you will see it will uh, change the color of our icon okay as you can see the color is changed now okay and we can also use the content scale like the xml so simply type content scale dot prop fill bounds fill height fill width okay so i will just simply select this one and we will see what will happen to our image okay and nothing happened so simply i will try a crop one and now we will see if we see some changes in our icon or image okay as you can see the image or the icon is cropped okay so that's how you can uh, use icons from material library in your jetpack compose now if you want to add uh, if you want to use image from your drivers or your custom images so how you can do that so i will just simply remove this image and i will just simply type image and i will use the painter one okay the first one so hit enter and as you can see uh, here the property is painter and content description so i will just simply uh, format it and in this i will just simply type painter image okay and inside this painter what we will do we will uh, now we will load image from our resource so simply type painter resource and now here we will give an id which will be the integer so r dot drivers dot jetpack logo and if i show you my rebel so i have already added this logo okay now our logo will appear Okay, let me close this okay this is our logo and now if i uh, try to change the color so color filter color color filter dot tint and i will just simply change the color to color dot um, let's say blue so we will see if we can change the color of this image 
yeah we can change the color of this image but now the logo is not visible okay so it changes the uh, tint color so i will just simply uh, remove this property and i will, i can also use a content scale and content scale dot crop okay now as you can see our image will be cropped okay all the properties are same but uh, to use the resource image so you need to uh, use this composable the painter one and if i simply uh, hold command or control and click on this image so this is our image composable and we can also uh, pass a modifier alignment content scale and alva color filter and all these properties you can use on your image composable okay so let me just close this now we will talk about uh, button composable so to add a button composable simply type button okay button and hit enter and as you can see by default we have on click here okay because uh, when we are using the button in our jetpack compose or any uh, application so uh, we perform some clicks okay so this is our on click method of the button and inside this button we can add uh, text and uh, images anything we want uh, and as you can see this is our row scope and we will talk about row rows and column in our upcoming tutorials so uh, don't confuse yourself with this so I will just simply add a text here and the text will be uh, click me or something like that okay and now we will wait for our you okay so as you can see here the click me and uh, let me let me run my application okay so I will run my app now I will uh, show you we can click this button okay so this is our app running and if i click here so as you can see the ripple effect we can uh, uh, we can adjust the button uh, size uh, according to our requirements but i will just simply show you how you can use a button and how you can customize it okay so let me close it and uh, to change the button color what we will do inside this button inside these uh, round brackets we can assign color so we will just simply type colors and uh, to add the button color so simply type button button defaults as you can see here i will uh, type it button defaults and simply uh, we will use the button colors okay and inside this button colors what we will do if i go to this button color so as you can see it accept the container color uh, content color and we uh, have also a background color but uh, background color is changed to container color i think yeah uh, okay uh, let's use it uh, we will just simply uh, change the content color so the content color we will pass the color dot uh, red okay and we will wait for it and yeah I, as you can see here the content color the content means this text color okay and we can also add uh, another composable here so i will just simply add an image of vector and i will pass icons dot fill uh, dot uh, plus uh, okay i will pass this icon and i will just simply add a content icon okay icon now the icon will appear here beside this uh, click me because it's uh, it is a row and uh, in row we uh, put our views uh, like this in a vertical okay this is our icon now what we will do we will change the container color so container color dot uh, okay and let's change this to this one and uh, i think yeah as you can see the button background color is changed now and if i run my app okay so the click is also working and let me add a toast here so on the button click what we will do we will show a simple toast so simply type toast dot um, make text and we will just simply buy okay uh, we will need the context here so i will just simply name it button clicked and toast dot length short dot show and let me add the context here so when context is equal to local context dot current okay now if i run my application 
okay so our app is running and now uh, you will notice a toast here as you can see the toast is appear here button click so this toast is uh, calling in our uh, button click so that's how we can use image and button composable in our jetpack compose so that's it for this video guys and if you like this video please share this video with your friends and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel and the bill notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming jetpack compose tutorials